and nunning in this one right here. Well, guys, you know, I often get asked, uh, you know, how much I get for my fur. And really, uh, my fur go to an auction house, and uh, what I get is what someone is willing to pay for it at that given time. And all I really know is what I got from the previous auctions, and uh, there's really no way of knowing exactly what the next auction will bring. Sometimes you'll get an idea if it's going to be better or worse than the previous one or whatnot. And, you know, all the fur gets graded, and they go into lots. And uh, uh, the more higher quality fur end up in the top lots, and... Uh, lower quality fur in the lower lots and what we're really mostly aim for is get a good overall average you know uh, your top fur could bring you know really good prices but your bottom fur uh, could bring really bad prices but what average is out overall is what we're really concerned for and though it was nice to get uh, one in the top lot because you get a certificate for that but really the main thing is the overall average and fur get graded you know uh, by size quality color or whatnot and and then uh, the auction house puts out a, an auction catalog before the auction so that buyers could size up the different lots of fur and then they may be interested in a certain quality or color of fur for whatever type of garment or whatever they're making. And uh, I was just recently looking at the, the auction catalog for the upcoming uh, Fur Harvesters March the 10th auction. And I took notice to the, in the Mertens there was something there I noticed that I never noticed before. First of all guys, uh, I got this info from the Fur Harvesters website and I'll put a link in the description if anyone is interested. And first here you'll see how uh, Martins is graded by size and I got the 2X highlighted and after over 23 inches in length it will be a 2X Martin. And normally that would be the largest grade by size that Fur Harvesters has. And right here I got highlighted, this would be a, a how they are graded here. Uh, uh, select pelt will be fully prime, above average in quality, texture, and pelt preparation, no defects. And just below it, you will see one to two. That'll be a prime pelt of above average quality and texture. And now I'll just move on. This is from the auction catalog for the upcoming uh, March 12th auction. And this would be the first lot for Martin. And you'll see there's 3,001 there. And you go across and you'll see there'll be 29 pelts in this lot. But you will see they got 3x and this is the first time i've seen fur harvesters with that uh size size grade uh, i'm not really sure what 2x begin ends and 3x begins this is the first time seeing it and uh, also normally in a the first lot top lot which the first lot normally normally not always but normally bring the highest price but here they got select and number ones and normally you see all select pelts in this slot and as you move across further, it's usually all extra dark, but you got extra dark to dark. So I find that a little bit interesting. So now I'm going to move down, and uh, this is actually, you see, 3013. This is the 13th lot, and this is where the 2x begins. Uh, just above it, you'll see that will be the, the last lot for 3x size Martin. And the one highlighted is 2x. And you will see this is all select pelts in this lot. And this is what you normally see and you move across that's uh that's the first martin of the day and uh obviously uh you'll have to go into the next action <laughs> and this is just a quick little video and i wanted just to show the the little difference in those two lots and uh, i'm interested to in see what uh how uh, what the difference would be you know in prices uh one with, like a little bigger martin another one like a little better quality and uh, it might be close and who knows it could be a big difference uh <laughs> you never can tell in an action all depends on uh, what the buyers are after but uh I'll be keeping a keen eye on that. Uh, I'll be watching the uh, action as you live stream it. And they'll be on March the 10th. And uh, usually, you know, it's in the early morning hours, where it's over in Europe. But uh, I'll be up watching it all the same. So, uh, so anyway, guys, I uh, really appreciate y'all watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Oh, yeah.